We are gathered this day in the sight of God, friends and family, to bear witness to the renewing of vows between Courtney and Jonathan. Marriage is a commitment to learning to care for one another in mutually fulfilling ways. It is not an act, but a lifelong relationship, always in the making. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. Love suffers long and is kind. It is not proud. Love doesn't keep score. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. All things will come to an end, except for love. Now these things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Courtney and Jonathan have exchanged their promises to each other and exchanged rings as symbol of those promises and vows and have pledged their love and their faith for each other. It is my honor to recognize and proclaim their union. What God has joined together, let no one separate. I'm Amanda, Courtney's older sister. For those of you that do know me, you know how painfully awkward this speech will probably be. As the years have passed, I have truly learned how special it is and how proud I am to have a little sister and built and best friend. Having seen Court at both her best and worst, I'm not sure I've ever seen her quite as happy as she is today with John. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick, John's older and much better looking brother. It takes a brave, patient woman to enter into this family, and I'm still trying to figure out what John did to deserve a woman like him. I 
couldn't be happier for the two of you. John, Courtney, I love you both. I'm so happy you have joined our family. I wish you both many happy years to come and a long, loving life. Join me in raising a glass, toasting the future of John and Courtney. Cheers.